Yo guys, what is up? It is Jurocraft and welcome back finally to another Minecraft tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build your very own small compact house just like this one. Kind of based on the Hobbit style but not entirely Hobbit. But still a very good house to start off in your Minecraft survival world or even start your very own Minecraft village. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video and please do not forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Right guys, so we are ready to begin once you have your materials ready and we're going to start with some oak wood. We're going to start with the entrance and place two five block high pillars. So one, two, three, four and five. That's your entrance. And then we're going to continue with four block high pillars. So a corner block away, we're going to place one, two, three, four over here as well. One, two, three and four. And we're also going to do this one more time right in the corner once again so you kind of have a mickey mouse shape wow that was a terrible way to explain it but there you go right so that is your entrance we're going to grab some spruce wood planks and place one two and three and again over here one two and that is pretty much it so three on one side two on the other right on top of the spruce wood planks we are going to be placing some spruce wood stairs just like so now right in the corner we do have some fence so we're gonna grab some fence and right here we're gonna place one two and three we're also gonna place another three block high pillar right here one two and three and we're also going to have a three block gap right across here um, so three blocks away from the spruce wood, we're going to have another spruce wood block with some spruce wood stairs. And right in front of the spruce wood block, we're going to place one, two and three blocks of fence. So there we go. That is a nice start. Now let's add the entrance. We're going to have two spruce wood stair blocks, one oak wood stair block right in the center. Then we have some full blocks. So just fill this in with some oak wood no big deal because we're going to be placing some stair blocks as follows we're going to create a sort of hobbit hole shape right stair blocks right on top of the stair blocks we're going to place some full blocks of oak wood and then i believe we have some upside down stair blocks right in the center so now we can place the entrance all you have to do is place a full block right here and then obviously you're gonna grab your door um, let's just use a spruce wood door and there we go looking good right guys right so let's continue making our way around the building right behind the spruce wood blocks over here we're gonna place another four block high pillar of oak wood we're gonna have a corner block one two three four one block gap one two three four corner again one two three and four then again using some spruce wood full blocks which i do not have there we go we're gonna place the full block right in front of the oak beams as follows so it's three extra blocks and right on top of the full block we're going to be placing some spruce wood stairs so this is what you're, you should be aiming for. Now, we're also going to add in some grass blocks. As you can see, we do have some flower pots right in front of the windows. Now, the grass blocks go right in between the spruce wood blocks. So one, two, and three. And we're also going to fill this in using some oak wood planks. One, two, three, and four. Now, right in front of the grass blocks, we're going to be placing some trap doors to kind of represent a flower pot one two and three don't forget to close the flower pots of course I don't know why I just call that a flower pot close the trap doors right we're gonna fill this in with some oak wood as well so one two and three now let's continue making our way around the building we do have the fireplace right on this side 
So, let's double check right here. Okay, so we have a full block of oak wood right in the corner here. Then we have some cobblestone. And it's going to be one, two, and three. We're going to raise this an extra three blocks. One, two, and three. So, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Right beside the cobblestone, again, we're going to have a four block high pillar. Right in front of the oak wood, we're going to have the spruce wood full block and the spruce wood stairs. We're going to have a three block gap. Again, full block, stairs, and right behind a four block high pillar of oak wood. Right in the corner, again, one, two, three, four. And we're going to place two extra full blocks with stair blocks on top. Now, as we did before, we're going to fill up the gaps using some grass blocks. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Right in front of the grass blocks, we do have the trap doors, which we're going to close to represent a, tr a um, flower pot. And we're also going to place an extra grass block right here with a trap door as well. Okay, so far so good. We're also going to grab some cobblestone stairs and place them right on top of the cobblestone blocks. And we're also going to place an extra two blocks of cobblestone right here so one right there and I guess two extra blocks on top and just to finish off we're going to grab some cobblestone wall and finish off the fireplace chimney now on the inside we are going to have a furnace so you might as well just place it in right away we're going to remove this block and place your furnace right there obviously once we do the interior we will kind of cover um, the fireplace design etc Right guys making a nice fair bit of progress. We're gonna continue with some fence and Right in the corner here. We're gonna add one two and three Move over to this side and we're gonna kind of replicate that design to one two and three and again one two and three Making your way over to this corner doing the exact same thing again one two and and three and over here one two and three and I believe that is about it now you could also add an extra three blocks of fence right here um, let's just see what it looks like on the original design one two and three as you can see you know it looks good it doesn't make much of a difference I think um, it'll look better actually so let's just just leave it like that and we can kind of move on to filling up the walls. Let's grab some oak wood planks and we're going to place one, two, three, one, two, three, one right at the top there to close this off and we're going to be using some green stained glass. It just kind of looks nice to kind of fit a hobbitish style. So um, yeah, now over on this side we're going to create the same kind of design we did with the entrance. So we're going to grab some stair blocks and place them as follows we're gonna have full blocks on each side and upside down stair blocks right in the center then you can fill this in using some green stained glass and don't forget you can fill up the gap right behind or on top of the glass with a full block as well so there you go right moving on let's see what we have to do over here I'm not quite that sh too sure Okay, so we're just going to fill this in with some oak wood planks, one, two, and three. And then over on this side, we're going to fill this in, one, two, and three. And then just a corner block away from the oak, blo uh, oak wood blocks, we're going to place a five block high pillar. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the same goes for this side. So one, two, three, four, and five. You can also fill this in with a block of oak wood. Now we're also going to be using the same design as previously uh, created. So we're going to have upside down stair blocks and stair blocks again. So just following that design, we're going to have some full blocks and upside down stair blocks right in the center. We're also going to add the green stained glass and a full block right on top of the glass to finish off. So there you go. We're going to repeat this process one last time 
over on this side, let me just double check to make sure. Yes, indeed, we're going to have some full blocks of oak wood right behind the grass blocks. We're going to have these stair blocks, upside down stair blocks, same on this side, stair blocks, upside down stair blocks, full blocks on top, and then the upside down stair blocks in the center. Right, now I'm not too sure what goes behind. I believe it is some oak wood once again, but let me double check. Yes, okay, we're going to have five blocks of oak wood once again. So one, two, three, four, and five. And again, one, two, three, four, and five. Fill up the center gap with a block of oak wood, add two blocks of green stained glass, and again, another full block. So I believe that the main structure of the house is complete and it's looking good. So to finish off, we're going to add in the roof, which has a nice kind of grass design. Okie dokie guys, so we're going to start with some oak wood and we're going to place two blocks right in front, just kind of protruding outwards randomly. And we're also going to place an extra two blocks on this side as well. And then we're going to place two extra blocks on this side. And one last time over on this side as well. One and two. So you've got two, four, six, eight blocks just kind of protruding on each side of the building. Simple as that. Now, what is going on over here? Something's... Okay, you know what? We forgot to add some fence right beside the fireplace. We're going to add one, two, and three blocks of fence right in that gap that is going to give us a bit of a guideline to create the outline for the roof using some spruce wood stairs and some spruce wood slab so we're going to create the first triangular shape which starts off right here just continue placing them upwards placing upside down stairs as well up until you reach the center where we're going to have a simple full block upside down stair block and then we'll have the spruce wood slab on top of that we'll do that later on let's continue placing the stair blocks downwards as follows and now you're going to notice we do have a small gap right here simply just fill up each side using some oak wood place the green stained glass right in the center to add in an extra window so that's looking pretty good Obviously, we need to fill this in as well, so just simply place a full block right on top of the glass as well. And that is pretty much it for the design. Let's continue uh, placing some spruce wood slab now. Let's see if we can find it. Where are you? There we go. And you're just going to continue placing them straight across until it meets up with this fence pillar. Then we're going to continue placing the nake, the nake, what, nake, next triangular shape. Okay, we're going to continue placing them up until you reach the center point once again. Place a full block, upside down stair blocks, and then continue placing them downwards as follows. Looking good. We do have, again, another gap, which we're going to fill in using some oak wood full blocks green stained glass right in the center and then a full block right on top of the glass as well right back to the spruce wood slab which i put away damn it there we go we're going to place one block on top of the fence and then bring it across two extra blocks and it should join up with the fireplace we're also going to place some stair blocks right on top of this fence block and then continue placing them again, creating another triangular shape. Right in the center, we have the full block and the upside down stair block. And again, continue placing them downwards until you reach the next fence pillar. As we always do, we have the full block glass and full block on top of the glass to finish off the design. Again, we have an extra window. Going to change the time to zero. There we go. And now we're going to continue placing the final triangular shape, again following the same design right up until you reach the center. We're going to have a full block, upside down stair block again, and continue placing the stair blocks downwards up until you reach the next uh, fence block. Again, we're going to finish off this design as follows, 
And now we are going to be using some spruce wood slab to create this kind of top outline. Now the spruce wood slab will extend outwards an extra block away from the stair blocks. So just bring this all the way across until it reaches this point. We're going to do the same on this side. So bring this all the way across, extend it an extra block outwards. And again, over on this side, bring it all the way across and then extend the spruce wood slab an extra block away from the stair blocks. Now pretty much the rest of the design is constructed using some grass blocks. So let's see here, we're going to fill this in, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and again we're just pretty much just following the roof design. Pretty straightforward, quite simple, all you have to do is follow the spruce wood across and again we're going to do this right around the back of the fireplace and an extra two blocks right at the bottom over there. Do the same over here, so one, two and three, one block in the corner, one, two, three, four and five and again one last time to finish off the roof. We're going to fill this in completely and obviously to add in some extra decoration we're going to grab a couple of things actually. We're going to grab some buttons. We're also going to grab some gravel or some cobblestone. That will work as well. And we're also going to grab some bone meal. So where are you? There we go. Now the bone meal is pretty much for the roof. Now you don't have to necessarily have flowers on top of the roof. Um, I just kind of used grass only. I just thought it kind of looked more decent this way rather than having, you know, multiple colors coming up from the roof. I think the grass just looks as good as it can get, really. But obviously, you can add flowers. You can add flower pots over here, you know, kind of down to preference, really. You can also even add a flower pot right on top of this oakwood block. And we're also going to grab actually some trap doors because we're going to place them right in front of the oak beam blocks that we placed right here. You know, just kind of adding a bit of extra detail. And the buttons are going to go right here in the corner. Just again, a bit of extra detail. You could even use some stone buttons as well. Why not? This It's all pretty much about adding as much detail as you can to the building without destroying it, <laughs> but yeah, trapdoors and that is pretty much it. Also don't forget guys to add in your gravel path or cobblestone path or even mix and match using cobblestone and gravel as well. So guys, there you go. I think this looks pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, obviously, <laughs> you guys are going to want an interior, don't you? The interior is actually as simple as it can get, really. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do it right away. Pretty much what I did was I filled this in with some oak wood. And I kind of separated this section of the build using a stair block. I placed it right here. And then using some oak wood, I added an extra two pillars. So bring this upwards as follows, kind of separating two different rooms. Obviously, you're going to have to change the grass floor for some oak wood planks as well. The fireplace design, totally up to you really. Um, I usually use the same design as always, kind of filling this in with some cobblestone. Um, if you don't want to burn down your house, you know, turn off the fire spread or simply add in a torch. I tend to add in torches just to kind of, you know, keep it nice and simple. Uh, we're going to add in some uh, cobblestone wall right in the center here. And, you know, the design is totally up to you. You can even add some cobblestone stairs, maybe, just like that. It kind of looks good as well. And you can fill this in. Obviously, this is a bit of a waste of space. So, um, I guess you can just fill this in with oak wood as well. Obviously, you do have the grass right across the top. So, you know, make sure you fix this up. Add in, you know, some spruce, um, sorry, not spruce wood, oak wood um, stair blocks. And you can obviously, you know, fill this in, fix this up as best as you can. Um, and you can fill up the roof as well using some oak wood. So nice and easy, guys. Nothing too complicated. Um, but I'll show you the original design so you guys can get some ideas. That is pretty much the interior 
yep apart from you know interior design which i'm gonna give you a bit of a show around really um it's quite simple really we do have some sort of shelf units you know some uh bookshelf we do have a block of glowstone right in the center here flower pot crafting table anvil some storage and we do have the bedroom here right beside the fireplace to keep nice and warm so that is pretty much it guys i really really hope you enjoyed this tutorial video if you did Please do not forget to hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. I would much appreciate it. Thank you for watching. This is JuroCraft, over and out.